Say hello, YouTube. You can say that. Why? You tell them about the heli. You tell them about the heli? Huh? No? Well, welcome to the Mendota Ranch. It's a uh, Monday morning. What we're doing today is I've got a bunch of old cows we've got to ship. And of course they're on the back side of the ranch. So I'm bringing them in. And it'll be about six miles of driving of these cows. Um, there's just a hundred head of these cows, but I've been gathering bulls and throwing bulls in at the same time. So I thought I'd just tag y'all along on this. So y'all jump in and enjoy the ride with me. All right, well, I, I've got them thrown into the lane here. Um, of course, they're all the way on the back side. They don't want to come to the house. Let's see if we can get them going. These trees kind of give me a fit. I really got to be careful flying around these trees just because tail rotor and main rotor getting into them. We'll see what they do. Usually just kind of take it easy. Stay a little higher than normal is kind of what I do here. Get down here a little lower. We can kind of... I need to kind of get a little milk momentum going here. So you see this old barn in front of me? Throw that. We call it the herb barn. This is the herb country here. So Wyatt Earp's nephew lived here. He was a goat farmer. And that barn is set up to like milk goats and stuff like that. You can see these little holes. Those were, I buried, there's just old chicken houses in his house. But that old barn, every time that we have a grass fire or some big storm, I'm always surprised it's still standing, but it's a cool old barn. Got a little hayloft up in the top. And I think it's cool saying that Wyatt Earp's nephew live here. So this pasture that we're in right now is called the Earp goat pasture so we got we got several herb pastures but this is this is the goat pasture the reason we call it the goat pasture is just because it had goat fence all the way around it and i guess he ran his goats on it all right so these cows are kind of moving along all right i'm just over top of the trees here usually these cows go fine it's usually the dang bulls i'm worried i'm always worried i've been kicking bulls in here now i've got some older bulls i might have to come back horseback and get there's a couple of bulls there on the bottom i sure hope this one bull Right here in the back, I hope he keeps going. The other day, I come over here to get him a horseback to get him out. I did get him out of this one pasture, but he would just get in the brush. Of course, I was horseback riding one of my colts, and then you kind of get it's a one way in, one way out deal. And then he gets you in there, and you try to push him out, and then he runs over you. So it wasn't much fun. So I'm hoping that bull will just keep on running. I don't know. We'll see. I'd say the odds is slim to none, but he's still moving. that on the radio that's my brother Eddie he's an airplane pilot big time airplane guy but he's also a helicopter pilot so he's got an R-22 and it sounded like he was taking it out to the mechanic shop the cows are in about a thousand twelve hundred acre pasture and normally you know I, I catch a horse about every day so this, you know this isn't very western in doing it with a helicopter but the cows handle good and I do it all by myself so instead of calling six or eight guys to come help me boot together these cows and we spend half the day doing it, I can do it all by myself. And I kind of like that. You know, I'm, I'm over 50 years old, so I've done my cowboying. I know how it is to trot around and be a cowboy or act like a cowboy. And I still do it. I still ride a horse every day. Do you think flying a helicopter is not fun? There's something wrong with you, so I'm out here just hogging all the fun, essentially what I'm doing.
Balls are scattered out, looking pretty good. Ah, we're done. So, went over here to the house. I want to show you my van. Let's do an update on my van. With the rotary coil wrap, all that cool stuff all over it. So like I said, we wasn't done yet. I gotta show you my van. So here's, let's call this the update of the van. So come here and look at this. What do you think of this? This is the van that we looked at before and I told you we were gonna do the wrap. So here's the wrap that I designed along with uh, the company that helped me wrap it out of Lubbock. So what we did is we took some pictures of the of us shooting out of the helicopter. These are some these are some guys we had to keep their faces covered, but they, they made good models. I think it's just cool as crap. Got the rotary recoil. And for y'all that don't know what the rotor recoil is, so essentially what we do, besides, we, it's a course that we take in a helicopter where you get in the helicopter, uh, two shooters and guns, and we've got a course that's 50 miles long, 100 plus targets, takes well over 300 rounds to get through the whole range. And I train people how to shoot out of the helicopter, reverse leads, stuff like that. And so we do like all the tier one guys, well, not all of them, you know, we do a lot of military tier one guys. Um, a lot of foreign police, for some reason, US police hadn't jumped on board yet. We're hoping they'll come soon. And then the civilians show up on the weekend and just do it just for fun. They're not really training anything, but it it is a lot of dang fun. So a lot of the civilians, they go, well, it's just too much. It's like, first time I've flown in a helicopter, oh, that's awesome. First time I've shot, you know, this kind of a gun, oh, that's awesome. First time I've shot, out of a helicopter, out of target. Oh, that's awesome. I've never flown a helicopter in and out of canyons and through all that, and so it's, it's just sensory overload for them. So anyway, so it's kind of a fun deal. We stay busy doing it. It's something we can do on the ranch. You know, it's scattered over 11,000 acres. Um, it's just a crazy ideal that we came up with, and and it's good training for the military guys. So these are, that's pretty much what we're doing here. So we're, um, the pictures are from you know us shooting on the shooting the targets. You can hear the steel ring back inside. But anyways, this van, when I first bought it, we were driving along and it was windy, windy, windy. And I thought this is like driving a billboard. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it was blowing around. And I thought, well, shoot, there you go. There's your tax write-off right there, a driving billboard. So, rotary recoil's got uh, my. Instagram, my YouTube. Remember, if you if you're watching me on YouTube, subscribe. YouTube hates me, so go ahead and subscribe. So just to give me some more followers, some some more subscribers. And looky here, oh my God, I finally got a spare tire holder and ladder from I think it's called Alley Engineering. It is a cool son of a gun. I've ordered some more stuff from them. I've got, you know, I've got my fuel tank holders, which is, they're not here right here. I bought the new one that mounts here, so I'm gonna mount my fuel tanks here. Um, everything else is the same. I talked about up in my solar panels. I think I'm down on that. I think what I'm gonna do now is um, go lithium. I'm looking at maybe adding an alternator and the lithium uh, batteries, just so I can run air conditioner and everything off the of lithium batteries with a better inverter um, instead of using a generator. So I need a little help with that. So if any of you guys out there on YouTube that know more about lithium batteries and the inverters with the alternator, that's affordable. So the ones I've seen are like 15, 20,000. I'm, I'm out on that. There's gotta be a cheaper way to do it, but maybe not. I don't know. So that's where I'm at with this, but Anyways, let me know what you think about my wrap. I think it's cool as hell. And then one other thing on the inside, we've got to install our gun racks where we can, it's kind of like a gun safe, but it's made for a vehicle. So we can lock our guns in there. So um, 
You know, nowadays when you're traveling, if you're not traveling with a gun, you're crazy. So yeah, so that's about it. Everything else inside is ready to go. Just the gun racks, and we'll have those things mounted before you know it. And if I can go with the lithium batteries, somebody help me out with that, um, I'm good. But let me know what you think about that, about this. I don't know what they're gonna think when I pull into some campsite with this, but I really don't care. I think it's cool as hell. All right, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, subscribe, like, do all the good stuff I need uh, to get more followers. All right, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed the cow chasing today, and we got more coming. All right, see you.